Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about my top 5 likes and dislikes about the Red Cat Racing Gen 8 crawler. As it's time for me to move on from this crawler guys, as I've got a new one on the way, which might well be here by the time you're watching this video. Anyway, let me get the camera down, talk you through those top 5 likes and dislikes on the Gen 8. Okay, and point number 1 guys, starting on the outside of the car, has to be the body. Um, it's got a great sort of semi-scale look to it. Um, you've got built-in LED buckets behind the headlights, so it's very, very easy to fit LED lights. Looks pretty good scale look, semi-scale look at this price point. Nice mud guards here, uh, front and rear, to protect you from, uh, that protects a lot of the body uh, from getting scuffed when you're out on the trail. One great feature that it has got, but it's also one of its downsides, is this Velcro body. I'm not pulling it off the best of ways there, guys. Um, which is very, very simple to do. You just simply pull the whole body off. But that ease of getting the body off can be its downside. If it takes a hard tumble, the body can get ripped off of the car. But on the plus side, there is a little kit that comes with it that can make, you can actually drill out holes for fitting that body posts to the car and hold it down properly if you want to. So I said that's like a like and dislike on there. The one thing I did intensely dislike is the Velcro pads on the truck side of things keep around the body. There's a little case in question there. Yet again, one of the pads has come loose. I'm forever either super gluing them to the body or super gluing them to the car. So you can see why that's like a like and a dislike at the same time. Anyway, let's move on to point number well, two. Point number two on my likes and dislikes on the Red Cat Gen 8, guys. You've got to like the portal axles. At this price point, some 150 bucks less than a Traxxas TRX4, you're getting portal axles. What is this to love about the portal axles? Well guys, it's like driving on a tyre that's an inch higher than the ones fitted to the car because it gives you effectively about an inch more clearance under the front and rear axles, which is absolutely outstanding for the difference in price versus the TRX4. Anyway, on to point number three. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. And point number three that I like about the Red Cat Gen 8 is the forwards weight distribution. We've got the servo ahead of the front axle and the motor sitting pretty much dead on top of the front axle if you look on there guys. So you've got a, so so in terms of getting that weight forwards for you, not a lot of modifications needed on there because the bulk of the weight is already over the front of the axle aiding the grip of the car so i really like that feature about the red cat gen and point number four guys has to be the shock adjustment both front and rear you've got some nine different positions for uh, tuning the shocks in terms of handling etc you can also move those when it comes to exit if you're changing the wheelbase around on the car you can set those shocks higher or lower to give more clearance and you can move them front or back in order to aid fitting 2.2 tires to the car so while it's only brief i do feel point number four and the likes and dislikes is quite a relevant one to the tuning of the handling of this car point number five has to be sheer value for money bang for your buck guys you can pick one of these up around about 300 dollars plus the tax on there yes people say it's almost like a traxxas trx4 i say so what guys if you're right if you've not got the money for a trx4 you're 479 bucks and you can pick this up for 300 dollars and get most of the same features as the trx4 then isn't that good but best of all it's like they've looked at what how people have modified traxxas trx4s and made those and built those same design modifications in to the Red Cap Gen 8 on here. Everything from the battery tray to moving the motor and the servo forwards on there, the mudguard layout, etc. It's very much very similar to the uh, TRX4, but you've got more in terms of adjustable suspension. But point number five, guys, what I like most about the Red Cat Racing Gen 8 is bang for your buck. It is very, very hard indeed to beat. Portal axles for around about $300 versus the uh, Traxxas, which I love by the way, uh, which means if you're on a budget guys, this crawler is very, very difficult to walk away from indeed. But I'm sure you'll have your say in the comment section below the okay, video. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's my top five likes and dislikes on the Red Cat Racing Gen 8 crawler. You may well have yours. Have your say in the comment section below the video with your thoughts on this car. I've had a lot of fun with this and it's unmodified state, not really done any mods to it at all other than fitting the lighting kit. But I've got a new Traxxas TRX6 on order, so if something has to go, as I simply need the space guys as much as anything. Anyway, I hope you like this video and if you're looking forward to seeing the Traxxas TRX6 join the fleet, then don't forget to subscribe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video guys, post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.
If you'd like your own Red Cap Gen 8, then contact one of the West Coast's largest Red Cap dealers, JJ Customs, down in San Jose.